could you please um, introduce yourself and introduce what Skype is and what do we do here? My name is Aditya Mohan. I'm the founder of uh, Skype, I think. It's a San Francisco-based startup, which uh, we expanded into UK recently last year. We build machines that fail, with use cases ranging from uh, aerospace, healthcare, autonomous cars, and smart homes. Got you. Um, and how long have you been working in this industry? I started as an engineer close to two decades back, 20 years back, and uh, then I went into the business side. Before going to the business side, I worked at uh, MIT Media Labs, I did research in Zurich, uh, Intel Research in Berkeley, and then moving to the business side to work uh, at Oracle, and then um, two startups. So I know the area very well, both from a technology perspective and from the business perspective. Gotcha. And where what we are trying to do at Skype, which is uh, it's not just about technology; it's a combination of multiple things, all the ranging from technology to the business side of technology and to the legal framework around that technology. Okay. Um, what have you learned from your work, and how do you hope to impact your audience? The biggest thing uh, I've learned so far working and creating Skyvit and also in the past uh, working on multiple startups and large companies that we on the technology side have to play a bigger role first of all on regulations and secondly on focusing a lot more on the business as opposed to just technology okay what are Whereas and uh, we could uh, make products much, much better. We understand the products much better, so it's so we can work with uh, diverse audience and stakeholders to work on not just technology, but the business around the technology. What are our current projects and um, what's the overarching goals? Currently, we are building machines that fail. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, we think about uh, your next trip to Mars where uh, we are building robot companions that could be your companion for your first trip to Mars or robot companion for the elderly, which has been a huge, huge issue if you think about COVID-19, where 50% of the deaths in the US and the UK has been of these elderly living in nursing homes. The third use case is on the aerospace side where we did a successful demonstration of uh, a humanized aircraft that would fuel last fall here in Silicon Valley. And we continue to work on that area, how we could really be that uh, companion, how we can actually even more, how can we build the aircraft that is uh, your co-pilot or your companion? as opposed to just that's assisting you to fly. We are also looking at uh, smart homes and autonomous cars. And how can we have a car that is much more of your friend? Perfect. Um, and lastly, how do you see Skyvit in five years from now? We are a global company. We continue to be that. We started as a global company, which may be news to a lot of people. We are currently in four different countries, India, China, UK, and US. And I see Skyvet being something that will grow globally in these four countries, as well as outside these four countries, where we will be that uh, company that will provide you the fuel engine of uh, any machine, whether it be uh, aircraft, whether it be a smart home, whether it be a car, or whether it be any machine you can think of, which to some extent is interacting with you as opposed to on the industrial side. And that's where we want to be. We want to be the field engine. So we are working on uh, deploying the technology today in some of the use cases as proof of concept and we are also working
working on codifying all this technology in a piece of silicon. And that's where we see ourselves for the next five years that uh, we are, we will be that field engine for any machine. Got you. Awesome. All right. I think that's pretty much for me. Um, thank you so much for your time. Of course.